Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is the Commando Cast, a video cast about all things Star Wars Destiny. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando. Hello everyone, welcome to Dice Commando. Thanks for joining me again today. Andrew with you here as always, and we have a special, special treat today. So, our friends from Aegis Creative, showing their logo right here, as long as their website address, are uh, relatively new, I mean in the grand scheme of destiny, on the scene as a printing service. Uh, we've seen stuff from him online playing around with dice, uh, custom dice, playing around with printing of transformation set, of course, when that came out. And he also does stuff for Marvel Champions and other games as well, right? He has 3D printers. He has all sorts of crazy laser printers. He can print on basically anything, he says, right? So what they did is they sent me a cool, um, basically a demo kit uh, full of transformation stuff, basically showcasing all of their various products, dice, PVC, metal, normal card stock. So that's what I wanna do today is go look at that and kind of talk about how this is really going to be, you know, kind of a good thing for everybody um, when we move into the custom stuff, the Faltering Allegiance stuff, and fan-made stuff going forward. Hey guys, so thanks for joining me for the unboxing slash showcase of the Aegis Creative uh, Star Wars Destiny sample products. Uh, as you can see here, we have a full transformation set of, man, those are heavy, the metals. We have a full set of the PVC printed. And then I have a set here of the just normal cardstock that's actually what this fader is as well. We're, we're gonna focus in on this the most because that's probably the, the more common product. And then he also sent, he sent one for me and he also sent one for a gift and giveaway. And then this is super special. So my understanding is, we're catching glare pretty bad there, my apologies, but my understanding are these are the first um, set of transformations dice that he has, he has printed on. So I'm gonna go ahead and Take a look at all of this. So let's. This is actually normal cardstock. Let's let's start with. Um, you know what? Let's just go into the cool stuff, right? This is this is what I'm excited about are the dice. So just to be clear here, these roll just like normal dice. Um, the difference is, let's grab the Vader here. You can see pretty well here that they are. Come on, focus. There we go, you can see pretty well it's printed right on the die. I'm intentionally trying to catch the glare there so you can see that it is all one piece, it's not a sticker. All right, it's all one piece. And then just to put into perspective, to compare it with an actual, this is an actual, the one on your right, I mean you can also tell from the picture of course, but the one on your right is a Awakenings Vader die. Um, I will, let's do this just to show there, there is a slight um, difference in how it actually looks. This, the Aegis one looks slightly rougher. Um, but interestingly enough, if, if you can see I'm intentionally putting this in glare, right? This is the FFG die. It's catching the glare and it's completely unreadable right now. If I put the Aegis die in the same spot, it actually doesn't catch the glare. You can see, and just to prove that I'm not pulling some scam here, you can see that the glare is actually around on the plastic, but it's actually not on uh, the die face itself. So I think the Aegis die, uh, I think it wins in terms of, I mean, you can see the, the clarity there. I think the Aegis die wins in terms of not catching the glare, which is a huge win for me trying to do stuff on camera. Um, it does though, it does look not quite as clean. So you have to give um, the advantage to the FFG die there. Um, yeah, and then one thing I've noticed on a couple of these dice, let's go ahead and pull 
oh man, I didn't realize how many of these were actually blue. I guess, yeah, I mean, Han's the only, all the other red ones are proxy die or are parallel die. So. so we see on a couple sides, once this focuses here, we see that um, there are a couple of these dice. Again, don't, now remember, these are first run die. We see a, on a couple of these that there's an edge to them, right, like a print line edge. Uh, that's easily solved. I'll actually throw up, you guys have all seen the die faces that I made for solo mode, right? I actually had a ring around it. The reason that ring around was so it would help with cutting uh, or print issues. And I think you can solve the problem by just editing. I mean, this this one looks great. There's no issues there on that two side. Um, it's only on a couple of the sides, right? I see Han, I don't see it on Han on this side. So it's just, it's just an artifact on a couple of the dice. And I think you could fix that just by putting a colored ring around it. So uh, these are really cool. This is really promising for the future. So let's see, get, get all of them here. There are all the others we haven't looked at yet. But you see Anakin, you see Luke, Anakin, you do see the, uh, the new way of the Force die, Obi-Wan's Force Ghost, and you see uh, Luke, BD Luke there. So that's one, he sent a sample, like I said, sent a sample of each die. So next, let's um, go ahead and let's check out these metal guys because the metal guys are pretty heavy. Very interesting to me. Okay, so he sent them in sleeves. Um, so I, I am gonna take it out of the sleeve just so we can get a real true feel on what it looks like. It's pretty tight in there, give me just a sec. Oh man, oh, there we go, all right. So you can definitely see the shininess to it if I catch the light there. But he's definitely, it's, it's kind of funny, you look at it like that, it looks like Anakin doesn't have his nose on, but definitely there. This is beautiful, beautiful. And then of course flips over to Darth Vader. That metal has a real nice look to it. I hope it's coming through as well on the camera. Yeah, you can see it like up, up in here very well. And then, <clears throat> Andrew, why do you have a piece of tile left over from your bathroom project? Because I wanted to do this, right? Let's get the microphone right down in there. It's definitely metal, you can hear that chinking sound. And then let's go ahead and check out the PVC. Oof. So the PVC ones are pretty thick also. And these PVC would be, man, I can't get it out. There we go. PVC would be, I'm guessing, I've seen some spot glosses from him as well. PVC would likely be what he'd be printing that on. Okay, so actually let's put them side by side. So there's metal side by side with the PVC. The PVC is obviously lighter don't need this anymore. And then if I can do it all, let's see. Oh, that was actually stuck to the back. Oh, okay. That's so it's, oh, it's even thinner then. Oh, okay. Okay, great. We'll look at the thin here in a second or the thicknesses here in a second. So here we have very left is metal and the middle is the PVC. And on the right catching the glare, there is the um, normal um, cardstock. Okay, so from a thickness perspective, we see the normal card stocks. I don't know, about that thick. We'll compare it to a normal card here in a second. PVC is, of course, a little thicker. This, this PVC is straight up, just because I've held spot glosses. It's, it's the same thickness as a spot gloss. I mean, I'm sure that there's slight differences, but it feels to me the same. And then this, oh man, look at that. It actually, well, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like the ink actually goes all the way around the metal. This metal one's really hot. Look at that. That was really awesome to send that. But yeah, so the, the plastic here all just sounds like plastic. Yeah, because it is. And then let's compare. That's why I had Vader sitting up there. And this Vader hasn't been out of a sleeve in years. All right, so obviously on the right there is the FFG Vader. On the left there is the Transformations Vader by Aegis. 
and let's go yeah you see so you can see okay so let's do the glare test like we did before so vader there on the right catching quite a bit of glare um, put him in the same spot there right same spot there there the aegis one does not i mean it still glares a bit but it's you can see how it diffracts different that's because there's a there's a very clear um, printing difference it's not quite as smooth on vader um, but i think um, well, we'll actually, actually tell you what, we'll throw it in a sleeve here in a second and do that test too and see what it looks like. But um, that glare is, I mean, you, you do see that in tables sometimes. You have to use your non-glare sleeves, of course. You can see there's just differences. I mean, it still looks, still looks really, I think it still looks really good. I and mean, it's not, it still looks good. Like, I think it straight up looks good. I don't, I'm just, I'm just showing the differences between the actual printed cards we're used to and, and what his product is. So now let's look at thickness. Um, you can see very clearly that Aegis is using a slightly thicker cardstock. Let's see if I can get it in there. There, you can see slightly thicker cardstock, but I don't think that's a I don't think that's a complaint, especially for these double-sided cards. I think you want them to be a little more robust. So that looks really good. Looks really good. It's durable. Um, let's. Sorry, I have to bend your product. I'm not bending that Vader, guys, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, so yeah, it's, it's a little heavier cardstock, which I don't, I don't think is a problem. All right. So I'm, that's going to end in the sleeve. So let's do this. Let's throw him in the same sleeve. Okay. Yeah. So now you're seeing mostly the sleeve. Um, but it, I, I don't see, I don't see any notable difference. I don't see any notable difference. Okay, and there's there's Vader back in his so again normal FFG sleeve, and then again just the normal FFG dice versus the Aegis dice. Again, I know they're different um, guys, different different pictures, but come on, Luke. There we go. So just side by side by side. It looks it looks pretty good. I think I think once and he, he will I think once he gets that gets that, I think that's what he needs to do. Put I think once he puts the ring around it, I think that white that's showing there just on the bottom of Luke. I think you're not going to see it at all. All right. So waste. This is this is very very promising for the future of the fan made stuff. Um, he I know he's put a lot of work into making this all look good. So um, man, look at that. Look at those metal cards. Actually, let's. We got them out. Let's go ahead and just go through the full set of the metal cards. I mean, we all know what the transformation stuff looks like, but so we have Luke and Luke. We have Obi Wan and one with the Force, his spirit. We have the Sweeper Info. Man, look at it picking up that. So we got Sweeper Infiltration and then the Demo Droid. We have Echo, Fives, and Wolf, all of course with sending the troopers. Oh, actually, that looks really good. Picks up the shiny. Wow, that looks really good how it picks up the Look at that. We gotta take that out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Those are hot. Those are hot. And fives and Wolf. And then closing in and captured. These look these look really good, man. These the metal ones look really good. Rescue Han. And then Han. Oh, Han looks pretty good too. Choose your destiny. I will not turn, except you will turn because you're a turnable card. And then of course, one of the best plots ever. United we stand. And Mortis. Cool. All right. Well, I think that'll serve to get the point across. So again, just remember we have the the metal products, we have the PVC products, and then we have the normal cardstock products with custom dice available. Um, so yeah, make sure. So just remember, he is a printing um, service, right? So he's not like a retail or not like a retail seller or whatever he's just a custom so you to hit him up say hey here's what i want you may have to send him 
some files or whatnot, depending, and he'll work with you and get it figured out. But yeah, I want to thank thank you very much, Aegis Creative, for sending us this pack and giving us a chance to show off your stuff. And I uh, hope everybody else else enjoyed it as well. So thanks again, and go Commando.